Hey y'all, Kyle, AA0Z here. In this video, we are going to do some operating on the air, but we are going to figure out what we sound like on the air. There's a lot of videos out there about compression and DSP settings and things that you can do to make yourself sound better on the air. If that's through EQ, if that's through your uh, compression settings on your radio that are built in. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. We're not going to get into what you can do, but we're just going to go through a real quick scenario on what you sound like on the air, and I'm going to show you the differences on my radio, and maybe that can trigger some things to think about on how you can do this with your radio. Stay tuned. Here I have my Flex Radio, and I am tuned to a STR in Georgia. I am on 20 meters, 14.165, and I have my bean pointed towards Georgia. And what I'm going to do is I've got basically four different values on my processor here on my Flex Radio. I have the processor off. I have the processor on in the NOR position, the processor on in the DX position, and the processor on in the DX plus position. Those settings are right here on my flex radio. So I've just picked an arbitrary frequency that has been not in use for the last 30 minutes or so since I've been sitting here. And I am just going to read a script that I created and uh, that will give you a good idea on what I sound like with that processor setting set. And we're gonna listen to it directly on the SDR, which is in Georgia. So. Hopefully this will get you some idea on, on thinking how you can do this at home and uh, figure out how you sound to get the most out of your radio. So let's uh, start that script and uh, see what I sound like on the radio. This is Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. I'm testing what I sound like on the air with the flex voice processor set to the off position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. I'm testing what I sound like on the air with the Flex voice processor set to on, but in the NOR position. This is the lowest setting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. I'm testing what I sound like on the air with the Flex voice processor set to the DX setting. This is the medium setting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. I'm sounding what I like. This is Alpha Alpha Zero Zulu. I'm testing what I sound like on the air with the Flex Voice Processor set to the DX Plus setting. This is the highest setting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there you go. There are all four settings of the Flex Processor. You can definitely tell that it gets punchier and more clear. And if you look at the SDR software that is in Georgia, you can tell that I'm 10 or, or 15 over. Um, you can tell that I'm 10 or 15 over with using the DX plus and plus the, the compression on the flex. You can see I'm using more compression. It does sound punchier as you get into that DX and that DX plus, but I really couldn't tell a difference between the processor being totally off and in the NOR position. So I think I'm going to leave my processor on DX. And if I need the extra oomph, I will, you know, push the slider until I get to DX plus. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's different. It's a noticeable difference, but uh, nothing that is too earth shattering that uh, is going to make me want to, you know, push that slider all the way to the DX plus. You can do this experiment at home. 
Uh, all you have to do is dial in your favorite SDR, take a look at propagation, see if uh, it's a, in a place that you can hit with your antenna and get on the air and just say a few words and record it, look at it back and see what it sounds like. It probably is going to mess you up if you try and listen on the web and talk at the same time because there's going to be that slight delay. But if you can somehow record your screen and play it back afterwards, that's probably your best bet on trying to figure out what you sound on the air and what compression or what uh, DSP setting you want to pick for your daily operating. Hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you can do to uh, better yourself as an operator and uh, get to know your radio a little bit better so others can hear you more clear. That's the whole key is to get that QSO in the books and uh, get that uh, confirmation. So anyway, that is it from here. Hope you learned something. Give me a comment down below if uh, you have some thoughts about this or, or if uh, I did anything incorrect and you want to you know, blast me like uh, everyone else on the internet. <laughs> I can't say that. Give me a comment below and uh, we'll have the discussion there. 73.